Cruz ex-president Alan Garcia is left in a coma after shooting himself as police arrive to arrest him over money laundering claims. The two-time president is having surgery at Casimiro Aloha Hospital in Lima. He has had three cardiac arrests and has needed resuscitating three times. His 2006-2011 tenure is alleged to have been mired in bribery and corruption. He was due to face questioning over these accusations but put bullet in his head. Health Minister Zulema Tormas said Mr. Garcia is currently in a grave condition. The former president of Peru is in a critical condition after shooting himself in the head moments after police barged down his front door to arrest him today. Alan Garcia, 69 was supposed to face questioning for alleged money laundering but has been rushed to Casimiro Aloha Hospital in Lima after putting a bullet in his skull. He has suffered three cardiac arrests in the operating room and has needed resuscitating three times. X-ray images which purportedly show Mr. Garcia's gunshot wound appear to reveal the bullet passed completely through his head. The images have not been verified by mail online but the hospital monitor clearly shows today's date and Mr. Garcia's full name. The ex-premier's lawyer, Eras Morena, has confirmed the shooting and described his client's condition as delicate. He said, right now he's being operated on. Let's pray to God to give him strength. Peru's health ministry said Mr. Garcia was sent to Jose Casimiro Aloha Hospital at 6.45 am local time for a bullet wound to the head. At this moment, the patient has been in an operating room at said hospital since 7.10 am. The ministry said Health Minister Zulema Tormas said Mr. Garcia was in a very critical and grave condition. Local TV channel America reported Garcia was undergoing emergency surgery and was in a critical condition. It broadcast images of Garcia's son and supporters arriving at the hospital. Mr. Garcia served two terms as president of Peru the first from 1985 to 1990 and the second between 2006 and 2011. He is currently under investigation after allegedly accepting bribes from Brazilian construction titan Odbrecht in return for contracts during his most recent spell in office. Odbrecht has admitted that it paid $29 million to Peruvian officials during three presidential tenures, but Mr. Garcia maintains his innocence and has slammed the inquiry as a political smear. In a 2016 plea agreement with the U.S. Justice Department, the Brazilian company admitted that it paid corrupt officials across Latin America nearly $800 million to secure major infrastructure contracts. Mr. Garcia, who led the country's APRA party, testified in front of the attorney prosecutor about these accusations in February 2017 and was supposed to give evidence in November 2018 but the hearing was cancelled at the last minute. He is a skilled orator and appealed to a strong nationalist base to win his first election but governed as a free marketeer in his return to the Palacio de Gobierno. Neighboring South American nation Uruguay rejected his asylum plea late last year. Peruvian politics has been mired in suspected corruption which led to another former president. President, Pedro Pablo Kuczynski, detained last week. Allies of Kuczynski said he was also taken on Tuesday night to a local clinic with high blood pressure. A judge last week ordered Kuczynski's detention for 10 days as he investigates $782,000 in previously undisclosed payments from Odbrecht more than a decade ago. A hearing is scheduled to take place to decide whether to increase his detention to three years.